I think my most asked question on any social media platform is how to get the clean girl aesthetic. So I thought I would kind of take you through my kind of tips on like how to get that and like how to achieve it. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna put little like examples of what I'm like talking about here on the screen. So I'm gonna like sit this side. So for makeup, for me, I think glowy skin, like having a really good skin prep routine, which in my, like I've got a clean girl makeup video. So if that's what you're after, like clean girl makeup, go and look at that because I go through like my whole makeup steps and everything. But having like a good skin prep, like a dewy kind of foundation that just keeps your skin looking like skin. Like maybe some some people think that glowy skin looks like oily and greasy and you might be one of those people and think, Daisy, your skin looks greasy. For me, I just think it looks healthy. I think like it's got like a healthy glow. So I love that. I don't really set my makeup that much. I only set under my under eyes and like in the middle of my face. So I let the rest of my face kind of glow and be quite dewy which I love and I think that's really important for like the clean girl look. I also think makeup that suits your face and this is so much easier said than done because like maybe six months ago I probably thought my makeup was really suiting my face and I look back and think oh no like Daisy it really doesn't and maybe in six months time I'll probably think no like I agree with people that say different things but for me I think sticking to your natural features like not trying to change too much like with overlining your lips like I overline my lips but like I feel like I do it in a way that is it doesn't look silly like you might be like thinking Daisy your lips look stupid but like I think sticking to that like with my lashes like I have I do my own lash extensions but I still think that my lashes look quite natural like not obviously not quite close up but like from further away like I don't have like massive lashes which to some people it looks stunning on but for me I think heavy lashes like weigh my face down so like that's just not for me like eyebrows, I have quite thin, light, natural eyebrows. So I stick to that if that's, can you kind of like get my drift? Like kind of stick to your natural face shape and like features because that suits you best. That's like what you look like. So stick to that. Also finding products that work really well together is really important. I used to use products that actually would like, like mix with each other really badly and it would go a bit patchy or it would just kind of like come off throughout the day and it just wouldn't like last as well as my makeup routine does now but I think just finding those products that really work for you and it can take a while like don't if you're thinking oh I really don't like this and you try something else you're like oh I don't like it like I get that it's probably really annoying because that happened to me to be honest but once you find the makeup products that you love it's literally a game changer. In terms of hair I think if your hair is down like as clean as possible I know that sounds silly saying it but like have your hair like it needs to look freshly washed or like at all times I think I only wash my hair once a week so when it's like I'm quite lucky that my hair gets greasy probably like the third slash fourth day so I've got like yeah let's say four so I have three days basically of like fresh hair and then I chuck my hair up like for quite a long time which is disgusting like I know it's actually like it's like the clean girl aesthetic like are they really clean and it's like my hair sometimes no but like nobody needs to know that like you can just put a hair I quite often put a hair mask in my hair just when I slick it back but I think slick back hairstyles I think they suit anyone and like with pretty much all hair types I'm pretty sure don't quote me on this like I'm pretty sure like every hair type can do it so I feel like it's just like a nice universal style that literally everyone can do which I love I literally never used to be a slick back girl like ever and now it's my favourite hairstyle. I used to always think it made me look like an egg. It made me look really weird. Like, wasn't a fan. I used to always put these two pieces down as well, which I still really like. So if, like, you don't like having all your hair back, then leaving those two bits at the front. But then also just, like, clean hair, like, whether it's straight, curly, whatever, wavy, whatever. It doesn't matter. It just, I think, as long as it's, like, you take care of it well, it will look stunning. In terms of, like, smelling nice, and this is, like the weirdest compliment if you told me a year ago like one of the highest compliments I'd ever receive would be like I know you smell nice it's just such a random thing but like I'm like oh thanks like <laughs> yeah I'm glad I look like I smell nice but for me having a specific couple of scents like it can be a few like I've been testing out a lot of perfumes at the minute and finding some that I really really like and I like using if you're going like out for dinner I like using always using the same kind of perfume so from Zara I've got the fashionably London and ebony wood and like for one they look stunning sorry this packaging is just like 
the bottle is beautiful but these ones they're really affordable I think they're like £25 for the whole thing you only need like a couple sprays each time you put it on and it lasts so long but I like someone knowing what you smell like like my one of my best friends I got in the car this was probably like a year ago but I remember I was in the car and then I got out the car or whatever and then someone else got in and they were like has Daisy been in the car and they were like yeah and it was because they could smell like my spray like my scent in the car and I really like that like I think if you have like a fresh kind of scent then people associate you with like that smell and then it's like oh yeah like that's like a really fresh clean kind of smelling smell if that makes sense like I love I've been testing out the um Ariana Grande pink cloud perfume pink cloud cloud pink it's so so nice it's really fresh really like floral summery without being like too in your face love that i've had some from Sunamask. mask i think they've got i think it's called golden dust absolutely love it really nice really really fresh and then obviously the zara ones are slightly more affordable i have the fashionably london one and then ebony wood and i've got apple juice as well so i think i've got like five perfumes that i love and then i'd say my absolute go-to is fashionably london I think that's just like it smells expensive it's also like one of the cheaper ones so love that I think just having a perfume that you can always rely on to just like spray and then you just smell so nice like I went around my boyfriend's house yesterday and like his mum and his grandma were there and then they both were like oh like what you like you smell so nice and Sam's mum was like yeah Dizzy always smells nice and I was like thanks like I think that's just like such a good compliment that you want someone to think you like Daisy yes she smells nice that's just like top tier compliment to me for your like clean girl outfits i think it's very widely like said that it you have to stick to like a neutral tone which i don't actually agree with i mean i love a neutral for me neutrals is like my what i wear like i always wear a neutral but i have some like bright blue tracksuits and they still to me it's still like clean girl aesthetic like i think if you're wearing a matching outfit or you've just dressed yourself well it doesn't matter what color you're wearing like at all like i always see like for me i think wearing a bright color for me washes me out really much like really really much <laughs> really washes me out if i'm wearing a bright color but then people like darker skin tones always think bright colors look so nice so i think it depends on your skin tone what you think suits you and like it's obviously all personal preference so yeah i don't think it's always about neutrals it's not for me i don't agree with that but i do think looking put together and having things that match or just like even if you've thrown on your outfit like you might think i look like a bit of a mess but i've literally got like black shorts on like a hoodie and like a little top underneath but it's like because the colors aren't clashing and because like i think that the colors suit me i still think it gives like a clean girl aesthetic if that makes sense i'm gonna put some examples like up here of clean girl like outfits that i love and i see and like actually i'm gonna like put some accounts that i'm literally obsessed with who like really give like clean girl energy another thing that i think to have in your wardrobe if you're going for the clean girl aesthetic is basics like you can never have enough basics i obviously we all know i'm a very basic outfit kind of girl but i just think it looks simple it's not too much it's not like overwhelming like i just like a is it monochrome i'm good i think it's monochrome like an outfit that's literally just like one kind of color even if it's not like just the exact same color just all kind of the same tone of color i really like that i just think it makes you look really just put together like i know it sounds i'm pretty sure my mom i said that to my mom and she was like what are you talking about that kind of phrase but it just does i think you look put together it looks like you've made an effort even if you literally have thrown your outfit together like that so that i think is really important like basics in like whether it's skims like body suits or like i've got these like these up here like some tops and like leggings from another version i've got sisters and seekers tops hoodies whatever like everything i think that is like a neutral for me a neutral kind of set or like tubies i just love because you can also mix and match like that's why i think neutrals are really good because you can mix and match like things together because all kind of like neutral tones like go together really well 
I think that jewellery is such a big one and it's like it's a very small detail but I think it makes a lot of difference and I think I like having I think I wear quite a lot of jewellery but I don't want to wear too much because then I think it just looks a bit busy that's the thing I think you need to avoid with outfits you don't want it to look busy like it needs to look just like simple and just like nice you know but for jewellery on one hand I have two rings on two different fingers so I've got this one from PD Pirola then I have this Cartier dupe which yes one of the stones has fallen out but that's just from Amazon and then on this hand I have these two from PD Pirola as well and it's just like a gold and a silver that's stacked together I really like gold and silver together I think it looks really nice I just think they actually really complement them like complement each other really well so for bracelets I have these two and this one is a Van Cleef dupe and then this one is from Amazon it's a Cartier dupe as well and then on this hand I just have a different Van Cleef dupe as well I always say they will be real one day just not quite yet because I'm not ready to splash like five grand on a bracelet then for earrings I love a gold hoop just like any gold hoop really like today I've got these ones from Pretty Little Thing in, but I have some like Bottega dupes from Amazon. I quite like a statement earring, like quite a big one, but then I also have like some really dainty hoops from PD Piola as well, where my rings are from. And then I've got just like some from Pretty Little Thing as well, like little gold hoops. And then for a necklace, I just have a really dainty, I've got an S for my boyfriend's initial, which I just think is really pretty. It's just like very dainty and small, but I like it. It's got a bit of like, sentimental value to me as well which obviously you don't need for a clean girl look but I just like having a little cute necklace that I always always wear so yeah that's like all my tips on like how to be a clean girl like how to get the aesthetic like I really like it for me I think it's a really nice vibe like I just see people and I think oh yeah like I really want to look like you really want to have that kind of aura of like just the clean girl vibe you know so yeah I hope that was kind of helpful I hope you got some like little tips and like what I think about how to get the clean girl aesthetic but yeah if you did enjoy please like and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video love you